Hi, um, my name is Lei. Uh, I'm a junior research fellow from Dr. Nabil Bardisi lab. Um, as we have seen over the day, we have many exciting updates from clinical, uh, medical, and pharmaceutical companies and organizational updates on cholangiocarcinoma. But here, I would like to give you another slightly different flavor of cholangiocarcinoma research uh, I have done in the past year. Um, I came from a very different background. I study uh, very basic uh, metabolism, uh, fundamental ones, and um, I had been very happy studying my own research, but at one point I was asking myself, what can I do with this knowledge? I knew someday they will go into a textbook, but it only will probably will go into textbook for many years and not be found. Uh, and then now I would like to thank Nabil Bardisi to give me this opportunity to study the highly interesting project. And also I would like to thank uh, the foundation to give me this generous uh, support. Uh, last year I was the fellowship awardee. And uh, here I would like to present my updates, which I think is an exciting one uh, to you about cholangiocarcinoma on IDH mutated uh, cholangiocarcinoma. And hopefully that can be an example that I can bring something from textbook to really impact uh, the real life. So my framework is basically to understand uh, metabolic changes that arise in IDH mutated cholangiocarcinoma and uh, be able to use the information to predict improved therapies. So as we have heard over uh, the days, Dr. Andrew Zhu and many other people have mentioned that IDH is a common mutation in intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma and uh, in also including some other cancer types um, as shown here. And then, it, but, uh, it's, but it's not very common in other types of cholangiocarcinoma and uh, also not common in other GI tract cancers. Uh, of, and we don't really know yet uh, what's going on with this very striking tissue specificity. And also we don't really have a complete picture yet how IDH mutant can really lead to ICC progression, but early uh, and, uh, uh, findings, early studies in Bardisi lab led by Dr. Shub Saha uh, have demonstrated links between mutant IDH and um, uh, uh, abnormal dif liver differentiation. So in transgenic mice, uh, uh, mutant IDH has been found to impair normal response to liver injury, leading to persistence of ovo cells. And then uh, in a con context of concurrent uh, genetic mutation of KRAS oncogene, um, the mutant IDH can lead to uh, over so ovo cell expansion and then ultimately ICC progression. So in a separate uh, set of study by them, uh, they found this highly uh, distinct drug sensitivity profile of IDH mutated cholangiocarcinoma human cell lines. Um, in a large, uh, large scale study over 900 cancer cell lines, only two of the IDH mutant ICC human cells uh, show extreme and select sensitivity to the drug desartanib, uh, a multi-tyrosine kinase inhibitor. And uh, this is due to show, uh, uh, the cell dependency on the SAR tyrosine kinase. So Dr. Saha is now actually pursuing this project in his own lab at Fred Hutch. But broadly, these work show the uh, unique molecular circuitry that we can study in IDH mutated cholangiocarcinoma. So, my particular interest is um, how uh, IDH mutant uh, can, uh, like, my particular interest is uh, to identify additional vulnerabilities based on prediction that IDH will significantly affect cell, tumor cell metabolism. And um, uh, IDH, uh, normal function of IDH is to convert isocitrate and uh, alpha ketoglutarate by toggling NADP and NADPH redox status. Uh, it's, this reaction is 
very important for a number of uh, metabolic pathways, including fatty acid synthesis, uh, nucleotide biogenesis, um, redox control, energy production. Uh, in the addition to its comp uh, compromised normal function, IDH mutations generate this uh, two hydroxy glutarate and oncometabolite that competitively competes with alpha ketoglutarate to inhibit uh, a number of enzymes uh, that are uh, including uh, a couple of chromatin remodelers and other uh, enzymes. So while these enzymes are, have been shown to play an important role in IDH mutant tumor progression, 2-HG has also been shown to be a direct modulator of mitochondria uh, by inhibiting multiple complexes along the electron transport chain. Given the central function of mitochondria in coordinating cell metabolism, we predict that IDH mutant tumors will have unique um, uh, vulnerabilities in, uh, by modulating its metabolism. We already have uh, some evidence showing uh, the IDH mutations are associated with distinct metabolic changes. The, uh, in particular, the work done by uh, the Cancer Genome Atlas have revealed that the IDH ICC human patient samples show a very striking mitochondria gene expression signature, as shown here. And um, the signature is also uh, correlating with uh, increased mitochondria number uh, as assessed by DNA, mitochondrial DNA content. So these uh, studies are not, uh, well, these, this result, although it's not unique to IDH uh, mutated cholangiocarcinoma, but it's consistent with what our prediction that uh, metabolic will be dramatically affected in these tumors. And in my own study, uh, my preliminaries data show the mitochondrial gene signature also can distinguish human ICC, uh, uh, human IDH ICC cell lines. And uh, shown here is, um, I assay the most enriched genes from the TCGA data set, and uh, uh, they are similarly increased in uh, IDH mutated human cell lines compared to IDH wild type cell lines. In, for example, uh, there are overexpression of the master transcription factor uh, of for bi mitochondrial biogenesis, PGC1-alpha, and the uh, Krebs cycle uh, syn enzyme citrate synthase, and also subunits in electron transport chain. Moreover, we see evidence that mitochondria uh, number is increased in these cell lines. So first, I asked uh, whether we can find uh, specific IDH inhibitors uh, which, uh, that targets metabolic uh, pathways, uh, as shown. There are, we have a collection of over 60, uh, but it's a very small one. Uh, we, uh, we want to compare IDH mutant cell lines and IDH wild type cell lines. With these initial efforts, uh, I failed to identify any IDH specific sensitivities, however, um, these, um, however, uh, the, the collection of uh, our inhibitors are still very small and uh, by no means comprehensive, and also many compounds from them uh, targets uh, mo uh, multiple uh, targets in the cells and uh, uh, potentially masking the unique uh, metabolic rewiring from the IDH uh, tumor. So. Uh, in parallel, we initiated a genetic screen um, that can specifically and comprehensively target every well-characterized metabolic pathways uh, comprised of around 3,000 metabolic genes, including metabolic enzymes, small molecule transporters, nutrient sensors, uh, scaffold proteins, etc. And then uh, to identify uh, whether there's uh, specific targets. And here I show my preliminary data uh, with a IDH1 mutant cell line um, with and without the mutant IDH inhibitor, AG120. And um, uh, the goal of the screen was to determine 
any metabolic pathways that are required in either context, thereby to predict uh, synthetic lethal strategies uh, with, uh, con that are synergistic with AG120 or that are effectively alone. And we, we treated the cells, we genetically engineered them uh, with CRISPR uh, metabolic targeting library, and then we grow them uh, with and without uh, AG120. And with, next, we score the abundance of each metabolic gene in the cohort, uh, in the population uh, of their either enrichment or depletion. And uh, uh, we plot, uh, uh, plot like, like this. Uh, the x axis will be the score, gene score, uh, in for untreated condition, and uh, the y axis is the score for AG120 treated condition. Um, as in the result, as expected, most genes rely on the uh, diagonal of the plot showing there are no, there are not, their effects are not influenced by AG120 treatment. However, market uh, enrichment that are responsive to AG120 are also observed, and they are easier to be discerned to discern uh, in a waterfall plot where I uh, plot the uh, differential score of my plus versus minus AG120 uh, treatment. And then uh, the red ones shown uh, basically are the genes knockout are lethal to IDH mutant cell growth, and the green are lethal one to them when combined with AG120. So these uh, data basically suggest that the activity of the mutant IDH does um, dramatically alter the enzyme, uh, uh, well, the cell metabolic processes that are required for ICC growth. By grouping these uh, genes into distinct uh, subcellular compartments and the metabolic pathways, the, uh, I, I, I see a coherent theme. Uh, and for example, in keeping with our hypothesis, um, there are more, uh, enrichment in electron transport chain components that uh, uh, in the screen. Uh, we, we know that the electron transport chain are comprised of five complexes, each of them encoded by over 10 genes and up to 45 genes. That, those are really big complexes. And um, uh, while our prior studies using the metabolic inhibitors, including inhibitors targeting the, each of these complexes, did not review any uh, IDH specific sensitivity. Uh, we know that many of the compounds uh, lack specificity. They kill the entire complex, and then uh, they cannot target the multifunctionality of the complex. Accordingly, while uh, there are many uh, complex uh, electron transport chain complex components enriched in this screen, only a number of them are specifically required in either context of AG120 treated and untreated conditions. Uh, for example, in complex one, uh, there are over 545 subunits, uh, um, but only a very small number of them uh, are required in, uh, in untreated IDH mutant cell growth. And moreover, in complex three, we have uh, over 10 genes encoding complex three and to function together, but only one of them uh, whose knockout is lethal to the IDH mutant cell growth, and another uh, that it's uh, lethal to the cell growth when combined with AG120. So these are very preliminary data uh, and needs to be further uh, validated and invest investigated, however, uh, here, I do want to illustrate a path forward in, in, in the project that uh, to show how we can use this information to combat IDH-mutated cholangiocarcinoma. carcinoma. For example, I have a speculative example here uh, with hits at complex three. Uh, we have two countering hits uh, that is either uh, required for IDH-mutant cell growth or it's either, uh, required for those uh, with AG120. So this seems very paradoxical that are within the same complex. Uh, we know that complex three is, um, is uh, the function of complex three is uh, transport 
electrons in a so-called bifurcation pathway that uh, either the electron is equally transported to cytochrome C in the top pathway or it's uh, transported to the ubiquinone in the bottom pathway. And we find that these two country hits reside exactly in, uh, in each of these pathway. And um, uh, now, how does this uh, matter? And uh, I have a very speculative example that um, we might take uh, advantage of uh, complex three inhibitors uh, called my myxol thiazole and antimycin A that either inhibit the electron transport in the top pathway uh, or inhibit electron transport in the bottom pathway to uh, specifically impair IDH mutant cell growth by treating them with myxol thiazole alone or itomycin A plus AG120. So uh, these are, again, very preliminary data, um, but I hope that uh, this is uh, the path uh, for the project going forward in, and uh, eventually will be something that can be useful. And um, now uh, we are actually doing more screens uh, in a panel of other IDH mutant cell lines and the uh, wild type, also as a control to distinguish the recurrent genotypes associated metabolic uh, uh, vulnerabilities in parallel to validate and inv investigate the current hits further. Uh, we, I'm also doing uh, metabolism profiling to compare uh, uh, vulnerability uh, uh, changes and vulnerabilities in IDH mutant and wild type ICC. And uh, we have also uh, have the availability of a, a much larger metabolic inhibitor library that contains over 500 uh, in comparison to the previous only 60 uh, to do more screens. And uh, eventually I should uh, integrate all the data from above and uh, be able to illustrate the altered uh, circuitry of IDH mutant ICC and hopefully that will enable potential development of improved therapies. With that, I would li really like to thank Nabil Bardisi, which who is really uh, instrumental to, in guiding my research project and, uh, and all the lab members in Bardisi lab. It's a very supportive and collaborative environment. And also especially so thank to uh, Dr. Shup Saha, um, who initiated the project uh, many years ago and uh, uh, he is also uh, uh, teach me a lot when I initiated the project uh, and also collaborations from Agios Pharmaceutical and the uh, Kiwansh Lab uh, at Rockefeller. Thank you.